ya movea wa ukui wa Kenya ni riwe yose itambia na kutambuka ndini wa lelo wa Mombasa wa, wa ilobi kuthi Mombasa e isi isi ya ni babalabe ya wana maweku na muno muno kulaku hithi ya waku ikite kambanga na medhi wa mayasia ndini wa mwaiku wa kilesa mwaki ni meyuku hithi wa ma, maithu imana kuike hithi ya kanambanga ina hithi wa yuko sewa kana ijeke katondu si hithi etwe ijeke kamiaka hila hithi etwe yemi petoku the reason we are doing this is because of uh, the fatalities that we are getting from road accidents countrywide. It is alarming when you hear, like now within six months we've lost uh, over 3,000 lives. It is something to worry about. And because we oversee the road network in Kenya, uh, it becomes our business. We must come and uh, see how we can support with the resources we have. Clearly, uh, because uh, this is uh, an emerging issue, initially our roads used to be designed without road safety audit. Uh, but since the inception of NTSA, it is something they have picked up. And uh, we started with this northern corridor all the way from Mombasa to Malaba. We are identifying, we are looking at the whole design and identifying the black spots. Uh, and then coming up with uh, recommendations on how some sections can be improved so that these fertilities can come down. But, uh, as the board and even the National Transport Safety Authority, in collaboration we look at. First, we have to ensure that we have safe designs of roads. We also need to ensure that we have safe vehicles on our roads. We also need to ensure that we have safe drivers. We also need to ensure that the vehicles are driven at safe speeds as per the design standards. And then we need to ensure that there is post-crash care management. And that's why we are actually here today, because a lot of lives can be saved if we have that post-crash care management that is effective. We've told the hospital to package all the wish list that they have and then we'll engage them further uh, with our management at head office and uh, our director general I even spoke to him this morning is very willing to support uh, especially the ICU uh, facility so once they bring official requests it is an area that uh, we want to further engage and support especially because we are in an, in an accident hotspot where more often than not we get patients who are involved in accidents around from Nairobi, Naivasha, Nakuru, Naivasha Road, and sometimes Nakuru, Maimahiu, and Naivasha, Maimahiu. And uh, this year alone, the first six months, the hospital has actually received around 1,200 victims of road traffic accidents, and out of which some of them are seriously injured some of whom we manage in the facility and others we refer. And that is when the ambulance comes in handy when we are referring them to bigger hospitals like Nakuru PGH or Kenyatta National Hospital. At the moment, uh, the hospital has a two-bed capacity ICU, but we are aspiring to have a bigger capacity of closer to 15 beds. The building is on course, but uh, we are also expecting the, the, the county government of Nakuru to assist us in terms of equipping and also appealing to Kenya Roads Board. We can chip in because they have also assisted us in getting some orthopedic beds for our orthopedic department and some other orthopedic equipment that are assisting our orthopedic surgeons to manage the trauma cases that we normally have in the, when we have accidents around. One of the issues that affects, uh, I think that uh, affects us so much in terms of accidents is the victims that we get and most of them come between Nakuru and Naivasha and I believe uh, it is because of the heavy traffic. Probably this would do us good if the relevant authorities can make it a dual carriage so that uh, we can reduce the number of victims and probably the type